With COE price nearly tipping $100,000 now, is there still hope for you to buy your new dream car? When will we ever see COE receding to below 50k or even below 30k? Should we wait or take the leap now? When is the best time to buy a new car? Hi, I'm Galvin from Vince Automotive Group. Welcome to the third episode of our COE series. In the first episode, I shared how the COE is bidded. And in the last episode, I explained why COE is so high. If you missed those episodes, do go and watch them later, okay? The links are in the description below. So, back to today's topic. When is the best time to buy a new car? Well, if I can just say I told you so, it was just two years ago. Back then, we made a couple of videos to warn our viewers against the rising COE. I said that COE would likely rise to the 90k plus mark. But I got the time frame slightly off. I thought it would be in 2023, but it happened a year earlier. Anyway, after the release of that video, a few viewers said that we were fear-mongering. No joke, they really did. And they shared that many car dealers were saying that so as to get people to buy cars from them. But honestly, all car dealers will want people to buy cars from them. And they could resort to even more desperate fear-mongering tactics. Anyway, we told you so. Being in the car business for over 30 years now, we at Vogue have seen three of these 10 year cycles of low COE supply, which led to the increase in its price. So, thankfully, to the many clients who heeded our advice when they watched our videos then, they got their new cars with us when the COE prices were still manageable. But last year, even last week, was water under the bridge now. There's really no point on debating on who's right and who's wrong. The important thing is, do you trust me when I share my opinion on the best time to buy a new car, given today's high COE landscape? If you can trust me, do what John. To answer this question, let me address three groups of would-be new car buyers. Group 1 are those who still have relatively newer cars, which are registered from 2018 back to 2016. Group 2 are those whose cars have COEs that are registered in 2014 or 2015. So you can drive your cars for another 2 to 3 years. And the last group, Group 3, are those whose series are ending this year or in 2023, or aspiring new car owners who don't have a car currently. So let's talk about the first group first. Remember, Group 1 are those whose cars were registered in 2018 to 2016. In other words, you are driving a relatively new 3 to 5 year old car. So should you buy a new car now? Well, my salespeople in the team will probably hate me for saying this, but if your car isn't giving you any problems, then stick with it. If you ask me, looking at the 10-year COE cycle, cars bought in the years ending with 6 to 8, as in 2016 to 2018, would see the lower COE prices. So really, there's no need to change your cars just yet, unless you really want to upgrade to the latest Mercedes models. Well, in this case, we love to host you in our showroom here. Next, we move on to Group 2. So, Group 2 have cars registered in 2014 to 2015. So, by 2024 to 2025, your COE would expire. And for the past few weeks or months, you would have been contemplating to change your 6 year old something car to a new one. So, should you? To help you with that question, we need to uncover the price of the COE for the next 2 years, till 2024. Now, judging by the past 10 year trend of COE cycles, we consistently see the peak years forming around the years ending with 2 to 4, as in 2002 to 2004 and 2012 to 2014. Go watch the previous video if you don't understand what I'm talking about. Anyway, back to the COE price for the next 2 years. So, one cycle ago, the peak happened in 2013. One more cycle before that, it was in 2002. And 30 years ago, the peak was in 1994. So, through trending, we can roughly guess that the COE will remain high from now till 2024. But the more important question is, will COE remain at roughly the current 80k to 100k level or go even higher? Now, what I'm about to say is purely my opinion. It's based on my knowledge of the car industry for so many years and our company's 30 years of experience in the market. 
I think there's a good chance that the conceal wave will continue to rise until around 2024, maybe even early 2025, before correcting to more sane levels. There are a few reasons for me to justify my opinion. Number one, unlike in the 2000s, when then Transport Minister Yeo Chiao Tong largely supported people in getting cars, since Lui Tuck Yu took over in 2011, the policy had in many sense reversed. Lui Tuck Yu has been known to be a very shrewd person, driving old cars and embracing the public transport system. So, under him and since then, car population growth has slowed down, remained stagnant or even reversed. And since October 2021, the policy from the current Transport Minister, Mr S Iswaran, is zero growth. So, this leads me to believe that CUE price will really be unlikely to fall. But why I think it will continue to rise is because of the end of the pandemic and the government's push for EVs or electric vehicles. First, with first declaring a victory against COVID, our economy will continue to grow. With visitors coming back to Singapore in the new record numbers, it will just mean that at the macro level, people will probably have more disposable income in the next two years. And Singaporeans love to buy new cars. And this love of new cars will extend to transport companies who need to purchase new cars to fuel the demand of even more visitors, expats, and even more students arriving into Singapore. Next, with the push for more EVs, which all fall under the more expensive Cat B COEs, price will surely rise. That's because Cat B COEs almost always lead Cat A COEs in price movement. And there's this spillover effect from those buyers who are priced out of Cat B cars settling with Cat A cars. So, more EVs, more people bidding for Cat B COEs, more people priced out of Cat Bs, more people bidding for Cat As, and the price will keep increasing this way. But the nail in the coffin for COE prices to keep increasing, at least strictly in my opinion, is this. The government has spent over 100 billion to fight against COVID in the past two years alone. So, in Budget 2022, Finance Minister Lawrence Wong has clearly spelled out that it's time for the government to rebuild their reserves. With all this increase in taxes, including the hike in luxury car tax and GST, another way to rebuild the revenue is through COE. So, together with the tax hikes, they expect to collect back over $6 billion. So, ladies and gentlemen, do you think the government will put in measures to let COE prices fall? Well, maybe after another 2-3 to three years of higher everything, until we are nearing another general election, you make your own deduction. But for me, I really cannot see any possibility of the COE not rising until at least 2024. So, back to the Group 2 car buyers. Those whose cars are expiring by 2024. If I were you, and if I have the means, I probably will bite the bullet today, taking any opportunity of a dip in COE price, even if it's a few thousand dollars, to purchase a new car. Because if I don't pull the trigger now, it's likely COE will be higher in 2024 and it will likely be even more difficult to buy a new car then. Lastly, the third group. You are those whose COEs are ending this year or in 2023, or you are thinking of getting a new car today and you don't own one currently. My advice is the same as for group 2. If you have the means to get a new car, don't wait any further. Unless you can postpone your decision to 2025 or beyond. But Galvin, you will ask me, even the cheapest Honda costs 130 k today at authorised dealers. How to buy? Well, I fully empathise with your situation. And so, that's why here at VOG, we will continue to support our lawyer and new clients in whatever way we can. Just check with our sales team to see if we are running any promotions. And sometimes when we are, our prices can be really low. And much lower than those from authorised dealers and even our parallel importer counterparts. Anyway, that's all for today's episode on COE. Please don't say we are fear-mongering, because we will likely be right. Even if we are proven wrong in the next two years, our buyer clients won't be affected much because of the package that they get from us. Anyway, if you've learned something in this video, do give us a like and subscribe, so that you'll be given more videos when they are released. Do ring the notification bell too. So, in the last video in this series, I'm going to share with you what else you can do currently if you really need to get a car and are priced out of a new one. Once again, I'm Galvin from Vince Automotive Group, our Bok, and I'll see you soon.